So the Ninth Circuit just put a hold on the California assault weapons ban case, Rupp v. Bonta. So let's talk about this. Also, just want to take a moment real quick to wish everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all of that. I hope you all have an amazing time spending time with your family. Um, I also just want to take a moment real quick to thank everybody who over the last two plus years that I've been on YouTube has liked these videos, who's commented on these videos, who's subscribed to the channel. You guys are amazing. I would have never thought that any of this would be possible, that I would have a community like this that supported what I did, that supported me talking about the Second Amendment cases, statutes, all that stuff, and who support the Second Amendment cause like I do. So I just want to take a moment real quick to thank all of you guys who are really the true supporters of this channel. And if you guys want to give me a Christmas gift, the only thing I ask for is that you guys consider clicking the subscribe button because it's free and all of those things really do help support the channel. But regardless, I just want to thank everybody who has shown me support and who has shown this channel support. Thank you so much. Also, I'll let you know that this content is powered by the Firearms Pulse Coalition. So head on over to joinfpc.org to help support the Second Amendment cause. Thank you again, Firearms Pulse Coalition, for supporting this channel. So like I said in the intro, I have an update for you in the Rupp v. Bonta California assault weapons ban case that is currently in the Ninth Circuit waiting for review from a three-judge panel. The state of California and plaintiffs in this case submitted a letter to the Ninth Circuit agreeing that this case should be on hold until the Supreme Court decides the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin case. We now have an order from the panel in the Ninth Circuit that Rupp will be on hold until the Supreme Court rules in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association case. Now, for those of you who are not aware, Rupp v. Bonta is a case challenging the state of California's ban on the possession of so-called assault weapons. The state of California has created a scheme that bans both a list of specific makes and models of firearms and also bans firearms with specific characteristics. California Penal Code Section 30510 bans specific makes and models like the Colt AR-15, Steyr Augs, Uzis, etc. If a specific firearm is on that list outlined in 30510, then it is banned in the state of California as a so-called assault weapon. Often these firearms are called Category 1 assault weapons since it was the first attempt by the state of California to ban so-called assault weapons. Well, of course, the state of California being how it is, did not think that that list of make and models was sufficient enough. After this, they passed a statute that led to the California Penal Code 30515. Under California Penal Code Section 30515, the state lists types of firearms with specific characteristics that it considers to be assault weapons and therefore bans them. For example, a semi-automatic centerfire rifle with a detachable magazine and any offending features like a flash hider, pistol grip, collapsible stock, forward pistol grip is considered an assault weapon in the state and therefore banned. This section is what has resulted in what you see with California gun owners having to put fin grips on their rifles or create fixed mag builds just to have a flash hider, a pistol grip, or any of those offending features on the rifle. California gun owners and companies have tried to get around this language with various products like the Franklin Armory Title I, but even then, the state of California went in and amended that language in 30515 to also include those types of firearms to be so-called assault weapons. So this case, Rupp, is a challenge not just to 30515's characteristics ban, but it is also a challenge to the Category 1 list and make and model ban. Rupp was heard by a judge in the Central District of California, but that judge ruled in favor of the state of California. That decision was then appealed up to the Ninth Circuit and was submitted to a three-judge panel for review. The three-judge panel heard oral arguments on October of 2020, and since then we have been waiting for them to issue a ruling. The Rupp case is different from another case, the Miller v. Bonta case. Miller is a challenge to the California assault weapons ban, but targets only the 30515 characteristics ban. Miller was heard by the Honorable Roger T. Benitez, or St. Benitez as he's known, in the Southern District of California, and he ruled that the ban on so-called assault weapons in the state of California did in fact violate our Second Amendment rights. The state of California then, of course, did not like that decision and appealed that decision up to the Ninth Circuit and is waiting for a three-judge panel review. One thing that threw a wrench in all of this was that Rupp, along with Miller, essentially through proxy, were put on hold until the Ninth Circuit en banc panel ruled in the Duncan v. Bonta case, which is the case dealing with California's ban on magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. Well, recently, the en banc panel ruled in Duncan, which was unfortunately not in the favor of our Second Amendment rights. However, that ruling being issued created a situation where all these other cases that were on hold for Duncan could potentially move forward. In reaction to that, the three-judge panel in the Ninth Circuit that was supposed to hear Rupp submitted an order to the parties in the Rupp issue and stated that the court believed that maybe this case could be impacted 
by the Supreme Court's decision in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin case. On that basis, the court here stated they wanted to put the Rupp case on hold until the Supreme Court issued their decision in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association case. In response to that order, the parties then filed a letter to the Ninth Circuit Court and essentially said that they agree. Both the state of California and the plaintiffs there all said that yes, this case should be put on hold. One of the big reasons all the parties believe the case needed to be put on hold is because the Ninth Circuit currently uses a type of analysis that could be found invalid by the Supreme Court. Currently, the Ninth Circuit has established what is known as the two-step approach. In this analysis, the court first asked if the challenge law affects conduct that is protected by the Second Amendment, and then if it does, then the court moves to step two to determine what level of scrutiny should apply. However, during the Supreme Court arguments in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association case, some of the justices appeared not to agree with this type of approach, and the decision in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association case could invalidate the type of analysis, this two-step approach that the Ninth Circuit has relied on. Well, now we have received an order from the panel in the Rupp case saying that this case will be put on hold or held in abeyance until the Supreme Court issues their decision. The order of the judges in the Rupp case reads, this appeal shall be held in further abeyance pending the issuance of the decision by the Supreme Court of the United States in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin case. The court will issue any orders concerning additional briefing or argument after the Supreme Court issues its decision. So for now, the California assault weapons ban case and the issue revolving around California's ban on so-called assault weapons, the Rupp case specifically will be put on hold. Also I wanna note that the Miller case is currently on hold until Rupp is decided by the three judge panel there in that case. Because of this, since Rupp is getting put on hold, by proxy, the Miller case will also be put on hold or will be held in abeyance. Another wrinkle to this as well is that the Maryland assault weapons ban case, Bianchi v. Frosch, is currently seeking Supreme Court review and a petition for certiorari has been sent to the Supreme Court. So that means there is an active case up before the Supreme Court that is seeking their review, and that could also potentially impact these California bans on so-called assault weapons. So next year is really going to be an interesting year for all these Second Amendment cases mainly because a lot of these are stacking up and the way that these are stacking up could result in a good domino effect and could also result in a really bad domino effect. So we will definitely be keeping our eyes on all these cases going into next year. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. Like I said in the intro, thank you so much to everybody who supported me over these last like two and a half years that I've been on YouTube. The community I've built is absolutely amazing. The support you guys show me on every video is amazing. And a lot of the things that I get to do in my life now is a direct reflection of all the support you guys have shown me. So I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. I keep saying thank you so much for all the support because I really mean it. I'm in the position that I'm in now because of you guys. So thank you so much. If you're watching this, if you're in your car listening, if you're watching on your TV, if you're watching on your phone, I just want to speak to you directly and thank you so much for all the support you've shown me. Um, hope you guys all have a happy holiday. Ho hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Uh, be safe out there. And just again, thank you guys so much for all of your support. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and never forget this nation was built by armed scholars. This nation will be maintained by armed scholars.